Hello, homesteaders. So I am here. I've just finished milking two of our goats and I am going to show you how we strain it to get any dirt or hair from the goat that may have gotten into it. We strain it to clean it and then we put it in the fridge. Um, and then depending on what recipe we're doing, we may pasteurize it or we may just use it raw, but we'll get into that later. So to pasteurize the milk, you need your pail of goat milk. And this is the strainer that we are currently using. We have used others, but this one works just fine for the amount of milk that we strain. Um, got this on Amazon. I can put a link in the description for it. Um, and then we use the glass mason jars and these plastic lids. We are going to add, soon have four goats in milk, so we'll be using a color cord, coordinated system um, just to know whose milk is whose and who it's coming from, that kind of deal. So the strainer is pretty simple. This little piece just screws onto the bottom. This is the funnel. And technically, this mesh piece is the actual strainer so it should get any dirt out. That was a little tricky. But if you look closely at the openings, <clears throat> um, hair and dirt could still get through that. So what we like to do is we put that and you can use milk filters or just your regular 98 cent bag of coffee filters works just fine. So we put two of those in there. I don't know if you saw that. And we put it in the top. And this is your setup. And you just pour your milk in slowly into the top. And I'll show you actually what's in the milk right now. You can kind of see some dirt, leaves, piece of hair and we don't want that in our milk. So this process gets it out, makes it clean so that you can use it for whatever you desire to use goat milk for. And it's very taboo, I guess, with the people we associate with using goat's milk, but it's just like milk from a cow. So everything that you can use that has milk in it from a cow's milk, you can do with goat's milk. So. You love ice cream, you can make ice cream with this milk. Um, there's a caramel called Cajeta that uses goat's milk. It's delicious. You would have no idea whose milk is in it. it. It doesn't even matter because it's just so good. We actually have a video for that. So check that out. Um, what else can you do with goat's milk? You can make goat cheese. You can make mozzarella. You can make farmer's cheese. There's so many different cheeses that you can make. Um, just anything that you would do with regular cow's milk from the grocery store, you can do with goat's milk. You can put it in your coffee if you like milk in your coffee. Um, you can do like we do and make goat's milk soap, which is where you freeze this milk um, because it has to be extremely cold. And then you mix a couple of ingredients, different oils in with it, and you're able to actually make soap. We'll actually do a video on that soon. So I just pour it into the strainer and it quickly filters out any dirt and debris. And that's it. And it'll strain out. If you look at the top here, it'll strain out and into the jar, and then we'll be able to see exactly how much we got from, this is Bertha's milk. This is Jewel. Jewel's our big milker. She gives us a gallon of milk a day, if not more. So we have had to get very creative with what we do with our milk, um, which is why I know so many different things that you can use it for. 
because we have, at times, we have an abundance of milk, which is a, an absolutely wonderful problem. Um, so we ourselves will use the milk in all the ways that I just said, plus more. Um, we're gonna look into making goat's milk lotion. There's milk baths that you can make. Um, but our standards lately have been just using it like in our cereal, um, dunking cookies in it or whatever. But then we also make the cajeta. Um, we make different cheeses. Yogurt is a big one that we use here. The kids love the goat's milk yogurt with granola and just how you would enjoy yogurt from the grocery store. You can season it or flavor it in whatever way that you'd like. Um, you can put vanilla in it and have vanilla flavored yogurt, you put fresh strawberries, or you can puree strawberries and mix it in. Um, so many different options, so many different options. You just have to have the mindset that you're willing to try something different and something new. That's what we've done, and it has become an amazing way of life. Um, just exploring new things and new recipes and new ways of doing things that you maybe didn't, you weren't raised doing or brought up seeing. I know we never had goat milk in my house growing up as a kid, but now I couldn't tell you the last time I bought milk from the grocery store or eggs from the grocery store. So it's been an absolutely fun and enjoyable learning experience. So we only have a little bit left. So it looks like Bertha gave us little bit over four cups. So a half of a half of a gallon. And that's pretty good for her because at one point she was like down here giving us two cups after milking for all that time chasing her and everything. She was giving us nothing. So we can definitely confirm that what you feed and what you put into your goats will pay out in the amount of milk that they produce as well as the flavor of milk that they produce because we've really like worked to get our system down with what we're feeding them and how much we feed them and when we let them graze and that kind of well they don't call it grazing for cows i'm sorry for goats but anyhow all of that really matters because it, it does affect what they produce for you so if you're interested in getting goats keep that in mind so there's just a few little droplets left in there that i'm going to let filter out and then I will put a top on it and pop it in the freezer. We put it in the freezer for one hour because the, the goal is to get it cold really fast. You want it to be 37 degrees or below as quickly as you can. So we pop it in the freezer to get it really, really cold for an hour. And then we move it up to the refrigerator until we're ready to use it. And that's it. That is straining goat milk. <laughs>